Everybody, you're watching Dance On. My name is Luan Legacy, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of your weekly Smash recaps. The scene opens up on the first day of the Maryland workshop, and things aren't going too well for our beloved Karen. Seems as though she's not used to being in the background. As an actual performer, her singing and dancing is over the top and amazing. However, when you're a part of the ensemble, it's better to look together than to stick out, and this causes a problem between her and Ivy, which results in her actually getting pulled from the number. Seems pretty unfair to me. If you're gonna let somebody outshine you, maybe you should take a seat in the audience instead. After the rehearsal, Derek invites Ivy to the birthday party of a young TV star by the name of Lyle West, whom he helped become famous, and Ivy is ecstatic because she feels like she's getting closer to Derek. We find out that Eileen is facing some financial issues funding the workshop because she's going through a divorce, and she resorts to trying to find a buyer for a famous painting hanging in her office. She turns to Lyle. Meanwhile, after being removed from another number for the second time, Karen is completely frustrated and blows up on another member of the ensemble. Seeing her emotions, a few of the ensemble members decide to take her under their wings and give her a lesson on how to be a part of the chorus. What I learned, don't stick out, be the same, go with the flow, don't shine. How can you be a star when you don't shine? Lyle West is reviewed at the party and he's being played by no other than Nick Jonas. Oh. Excuse me while I swoon and imagine how our babies would look like. He declines Eileen's offer to buy the painting but decides to negotiate to take a stake in the Maryland show instead. So an impromptu show is put out for him and he is completely won over by Ivy's playful sex appeal and talent in a number called I've Never Met a Wolf Who Did It Like to Howl. Was I the only one who noticed that Lyle was only 15 and trying to pull a move on Ivy? <laughs> By the end of the number, he sure was howling. The episode ends with Karen on stage with a few of the ensemble members dancing in sync and proving that she can learn and that she can fit in. However, she also does get her spotlight in a powerful rendition of Adele's Rumor Has It. It was a great episode, but I was really taken back when I found out that Tom was going on a date that was set up by his mom. So the question to the viewers is, how awkward on a scale of 1 to 10 is going on a date set up by your mom and would you actually do it? With that being said, my name is Luan Legacy, you're watching Dance On, tune in next week for another episode of your weekly Smash Recaps.